Hi everyone, this is YC. Welcome back to YC Cooks and Bakes. Today I am going to be doing a ham supper this evening with um, some hardwood smoked ham. So I thought I would do a broccoli casserole to go along with it. And um, it's been about almost a year since I've done like a broccoli uh, bake or broccoli casserole. So I thought you'd want to see how I make it. Um, we start off with uh, six cups of steamed broccoli. Use fresh florets like this. You know how you buy a couple of uh, bunches in the store and you just chop them up. And I'm looking for about six cups of chopped broccoli florets. And you know broccoli etiquette, you cut these, these things off. These little tags that you see on the broccoli, you cut those off. And then, you know, you proceed to uh, split them down the little sections like that, leaving the separate florets. And we're looking for about six cups. And you're also, for this recipe, you're going to need a can of cream of mushroom soup. And it doesn't matter if it's a store brand. It doesn't have to be, you know, Campbell's name brand or anything like that. Um, and also, um, I am going to use today, I have used mayo in the past before, but today I'm going to be using a cup of Greek yogurt. And also, um, I'm going to be using... Um, half a stick of melted butter and I'm going to be using a couple eggs okay and then I have some remnants here of uh, onion that we throw in the fridge whenever my husband and I make something we just toss it in this bag but we're looking for um, half of a medium diced onion and then, of course, uh, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And I am going to be using one and a half cups of this shredded New York sharp cheese. And I'm going to be crushing some crackers for the top. And these are the ones I picked out. Um, I purchased these at uh, Big Lots. And uh, the reason we got these is because they don't have any of that nasty TBHQ which is a horrible, horrible preservative that extends the shelf life forever that you don't need in your body. I can promise you. Look it up. Look up what it does. There it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to start cutting these up and heating up my water to steam these broccoli florets. Okay, um, it turns out that these particular crowns are really really big so I was able to get all I needed I think out of one of the large crowns so I'll put this back in the fridge for maybe chop it up you know for dip or something on the weekend when my husband is home I think my steamer is getting ready to go off and I'm gonna put these in it and you actually can steam it first and then cut it up but because I don't like really you know working with a lot of hot stuff like that I chop mine up how I want it first and then I keep an eye on the steamer for like four minutes and then that's it okay I don't know if you can see right there at the end of my finger here the steam our pots a boiling water and I got I have the uh, steamer on top <laughs> okay anyway um, did I already mention that I was put, I was going to try to put in a can of mushrooms in this? Um, I, I have a recipe I did like 10 months ago or something where I did not add that. But I'm adding that and, and using the, the uh, Greek yogurt instead of the mayonnaise. And the only thing about that is it's, you know, it's the cheap kind, so it doesn't have the good, healthy, essential fats in it. For some reason, I do not know why, this country is bent on taking out that wonderful essential fat that's in Greek yogurt, the kind that's good for you, that works with your body, that your body needs. They take it out. And then people think, oh, this is healthy, it's fat free. <laughs> they took out all, everything that was good about it. <laughs> that's the problem. There is a lot of misinformation. It's just unbelievable. But anyway, 
Let me go check on this. <laughs> okay, I took it off. It is fork tender. There's my broccoli. And you see, I just used one of those little metal, you know, steamers that come with the pot, you know. I'm going to put this aside for a minute. I want to show you something. Instead of using my glass, uh, 9 by 13 you know, glass Pyrex like I always do, I am going to do a deeper one this time. Just to have different texture, maybe different flavor. I'm just looking for to make it different. Um, not that we didn't like it before, but I like change. Anyway, uh, this is a four-quart uh, casserole dish. Um, and that's what we are going to use. You can tell I sprayed it because it looks greasy. But we're using the four quart one, just in case you would like to know. Okay. Um, you are going to have this at uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I wrote it down this time. 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're going to bake it for 30 to 40 minutes. And it does need to let stand for about 15 minutes. Uh, I would say let it hold up really good before you go scooping it out with a big spoon or anything, whatever, you know, whatever. A spatula whatever you do there um, but the next thing I'm going to be doing is just uh, melting a half a stick of butter and I will go ahead and shred some of this cheese ahead of time and I will dice up some of this onion and bring you back okay I'm bringing you back um, we're just going to go ahead and start combining the ingredients now. And what I did was I took that steamer lid and turned it upside down. And I put a bowl on it and melted my butter so I wasn't having to waste more energy. But um, let me go ahead and get this. I'm just going to use the bowl I drained, the steamed broccoli. Here's our cup of Greek yogurt I'm adding right now to the bowl. What is she doing? It sounds like my dog's scratching behind me. Bella, stop. That'll drive you plumb crazy if you sit there and listen to it. Okay. Um, now, we'll go ahead and put in the soup also at this time. And this, in case anyone needs to know, depending on where you live, it is a 10.5 ounce soup, which is 298 grams depending on where you live. Okay. And then because I don't want my um, egg whites to cook when I put in that melted butter, I'm going to go ahead and add my eggs at this time. I'm using that empty soup can. Oh. I'm not good at cracking eggs. I never had one. Of course, I haven't. Didn't have no desire to practice it. <laughs> oh. My oldest boy is really active. Really active when he was little. Beyond belief. I could do videos for weeks just saying all the stuff that he did. But, woo! But he used to. At one point, he, he thought it was cool how an egg would break open. And so he'd hold the door of the fridge open and boop on the floor, boop on the floor, boop on the floor. Yeah. It was fun to clean up all that. But that was mild <laughs> compared to the messes my kids have made <laughs> growing up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yep. It was something, let me tell you. So right now I'm just kind of whisking together the soup and the Greek yogurt and the eggs. Okay. And um, let's see here. We'll go ahead and put in our half a medium diced onion at this time too. Sometimes, depending on... This dish actually cooks a long time, but if you have one that cooks like 20 or 25 minutes, I would saute these first, but because it stays in there, you know, 30, 40 minutes, they, they are going to be cooked through and through. I don't like biting into raw onion when you're 
I love onion. I don't, if it's just supposed to be cooked in a dish, I want it cooked in the dish. So, okay. And then um, we have to put in some salt. It says uh, half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna eyeball that. Um, okay, and then uh, what does it say? It says a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, and you know, you could always add more later. That's the wonderful thing about du sel et du poivre, some salt and pepper. <laughs> okay, um, and then um, you want to put in about a cup of your cheddar cheese. I put the other half of the brick in the fridge because I didn't need it. I only needed a cup and a half today, so you can put in this, like a cup, and just save a little bit, you know, for the top. So that's what we'll do. Okay. Um, I think I am going to switch over my utensils. Okay. And put in my butter at this time. And hopefully, it, I'm going to throw it across the uh, cheese. Hoping that that half a stick of melted butter will not cook anything prematurely. I want it all blended together before, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay. And then now we will fold in our mushrooms at this time. And that's what they look like. And this is the, the large can, not the half one. So it's eight ounces. And um, I have fresh mushrooms in the house because that's what my husband uses when he cooks. But I like the texture and flavor of these. I prefer that the dishes I make, I like these ones that are already in a, in a can. I know this might not be the best thing, I don't know. It says product of the Netherlands. Mushrooms, water, salt, citric acid, vitamin C. Ooh. No, they're not bad. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Okay, so this is what it looks like before you start folding in, um, you know, your broccoli. See? Just like that. Okay. There you go. And let's see. If I have every, let me go down the list, make sure I have everything. Okay, we have uh, the Greek yogurt, mushroom soup, and the butter, and the eggs, and the onion, salt, pepper, and uh, cheddar. And uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to add these florets that we steamed. Combine it, put it in my casserole dish. And uh, we're gonna, I'm going to flip these over. I'm going to try to move some of this stuff out of my way, get this combined, and then we'll finish putting it together. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and mixed it all together, and I did put it down into the bottom of the casserole dish, and I will bring you forward so you can see what it looks like. See? Okay, and now all we have to do is put on our toppings. And this is the chicken and biscuit crackers. That's just gonna kinda gently break up. Probably didn't need to break up. <laughs> It'll be all right. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Sometimes I just take like a rolling pin to it. Is this really loud on your ears? <laughs> As someone who's been someone who's really made you angry lately, you just think of them and you go, ah, uh, ah. Uh, that's how you get your frustration out. Therapeutic. <laughs> Look at how some of it's gone to dust our. 
Anywho, we are gonna mix some of this cheese also with it. <laughs> How can I get this open? I'll go get some scissors. Okay, hey, we're in business. So I gotta go ahead and uh, put some on here. If I don't want to put them all, I don't have to. I mean, I can use this in a stuffing or to top any other casserole that I have that week. It's probably great on top of a salad. You know, I'm not going to stress about it. I can tell you that right now. The food gets eaten in this house. I always say my boys, but they're big men. They're men now. They're in their 20s. And, and then there's my husband who's six years older than me. And let me tell you. Oh, she's making that with white flour. And oh my goodness, she's using all that cheese. Oh my goodness, my goodness. No, they eat it. Trust me. I am lucky to have any if I wake up the next day. Or if I get one piece of something, I'm good. I have had a muffin with tea one time. Woke up and like three dozen were gone. Like that's seriously is how it is. But anyway. Okay. This is good enough. Put that aside. Then I can assure you I can use that crumbs and something else to bread something or whatever. You know that. All right, now I'm gonna put the cheese. Or you could do it the other way around. That's the thing about when I cook, you know, it's your rodeo. You don't like mushrooms? You know what? Don't put it in. You like something else better? Use that. This just gives you a guideline on something that you can do to put with one of your meals. Um, want to stay off uh, these carbs and not use the crackers at all, but you have a, a better topping that you would like to use, by all means, you go right ahead. You know, this is your rodeo, your house, when you cook for your family, and that is your artistic culinary license to do it how you want and how your family likes. You cook it with love. And that is how it is see and I am going to after I bake this up I am going to um, you know I'm not going to heat it up until it's time for me to it's going to go in the oven at the same time as my ham I'll put it to you that way I never light the oven for just one thing I just don't do it uh, because it doesn't make any sense monetarily okay so I will take a photo of this finished product after it goes into a 350 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes and you'll see that photo at the front of this video and I hope you give this southern broccoli casserole in the new way that I'm doing it now I hope you give it a try and I hope you have a fantastic day bye bye